Good afternoon, uh, Federico Ferrante here from Azimo Benetti and uh, welcome from uh, sunny Pompano Beach in Florida. We are very excited because finally we got this brand new Azimut S7, a new model in our collections. We introduced the prototype in uh, Dusseldorf at the Bo Show in Germany last January and uh, just a couple of weeks ago we got it here in the United States. This is hull number two. Uh, so we are extremely excited. As usual, we will do a very uh, comprehensive uh, uh, you know, tour on board and show you all the features of this incredible new model. So we will start from actually here where we are at. I will open the garage for you because it's a very interesting feature that this boat offers which is very unique in its category. So the control obviously is always uh, very conveniently located here on the side so you can press the button and uh, check and see what is going on, making sure there is nobody in the way, no lines and uh, any obstruction. The garage will open much more and further than this. I will just cut it short to don't waste your time because I want to really focus on what is in here, which is fairly unique. So the new S7 uh, can host in the garage two toys. So you have uh, room for a tender. Uh, a Williams 325 would work or a 345 with a deflated bow and the uh, removable uh, steering system will fit on this side. And then on this side, there is room for a jet ski. A Sea-Doo Spark, for instance, uh, will be the perfect size to host on this side. So it's a garage for two toys. Of course, uh, they both are uh, hauled and launched by, they're launched by gravity and they're hauled by those winches. You see, that's the winch which uh, will pull up your tender from here and that's the winch which will pull up the jet ski from there so the two winches over there we'll see also the back of them in the engine room when we'll do the engine room you use the same remote control you simply plug it and unplug it from one of the two ports over here and uh, you know you can then control the haul and launch system very safely very easily you can position yourself anywhere you want and uh, it's very safe but more than anything convenient and your toys will always stay clean out of the uh, salt water and also the shape and line of the boat will stay clean and out of the water. Now, you notice this is a, of course is an, is an hydraulic platform which uh, goes up and down and technically does have capacity for a thousand pounds. So theoretically you can have up to three toys on an S7. We advertise and sell the boats for two toys because we want to make sure that you don't put too much weight on the transom. But, uh, you know, I have to be said that if you don't care about correcting your trim a little bit more, playing with the trim tabs, uh, you can have actually up to three toys on a 70 foot, which then uh, makes it really uh, one of a kind and unique in its gender. So we, I would say we move up to the cockpit. Well, here we have the customary uh, you have actually interesting features here because here you have uh, two water inlets. One is for the city, this is a city water inlet. When you are at the dock, you plug in your uh, water hose from the dock and you're now running as you are at home. You're running on city water. But this is also very interesting because it's the black and gray tank washer inlet. So you plug fresh water uh, line from there and that goes directly into the black and gray water tank. Uh, providing clean water to maintain and wash and keep the, those tanks clean for, for your crew. So it's, a very, it's very convenient. Instead of having to bring a hose over there, which is uh, uh, always challenging, we made a system which from here you plug the hose and you have water coming out in the two tanks for maintenance purposes. You will notice you have uh, uh, this on both sides and uh, the boat has two 50 amps short power cords. They're both uh, retrievable with the Glen Denning Cable Master, so no effort at all to put it in and out through the button. You see the very heavy um, conductor is retrieved and extended through an electric uh, motor and provide uh, 50 amps of power each. Uh, you don't need, people always ask, you do not need to plug a boat um, short power cord to feed and power the boat. One is sufficient uh, in case of extra need of power that's why you have two. Short Power 2 will automatically feed only the air conditioning system, which is the heaviest electrical load on any boat. And then Short Power 1 
will feed the rest of the boat. Uh, in an instance where you have a, a, a boat with all guests on board, you have eight people on board, the crew member, you're grilling, you're cooking, the, the girls are doing the, are hair, blowing their, their hair, uh, hair drying uh, their hair, and so on and so forth. You have a lot of power consumption then when you need the two shore power uh, cordon uh, plugged in. But other than that, uh, you are perfectly fine with one, will feed the entire boat in a normal circumstances. Um, you have also okay, convenient storage actually for lines here. This is an actually a fairly new feature. So when your lines are here on the cleats, typically you have the, the remaining part of the lines sitting typically in this area around the cleats. We made it in a way where you put the rest of the line here, you close it and you will have now a clean line going into this hole, both sides, and keep it this area very nice, neat and clean. You have your uh, half two inches of course and these are actually kind of a sort of emergency system meaning this is a, a manual bilge pump in case the electric bilge pump would malfunction you need to have manual bilge pump you insert this lever in this bracket and you pump it by hand and here is where you select the areas of the bilge you have one of on this side an identical one on the other side which i will not waste your time and uh, show you now if you uh, actually go their way because what we will focus on on this boat is the incredible amount of storage every single volume that you uh, you can see on board that you can think about is the storage i will be as quick as i can because uh, it's not that exciting feature but it's very important for boat owners so as you can see all these cushions lift so check the amount of volume of storage which uh, again will be everywhere we'll go through it in details but we actually our team put uh, fenders here to give you an idea and this is good for fenders it's good for all the covers it's good for supplies for cleaning product and uh, for instance for that is the uh, an emergency uh, mast uh, which is required by uh, european community certification what you see is right here in case you lose control of the boat you see this is a light and that mast compose and is mandatory in europe to put it on the on the highest part of the vessel in order to uh, give signal that you are out of control um, is uh, so that's uh, again we're talking about the volume of storage this is a flat storage which uh, could work for smaller items and uh, uh, you know flat uh, covers and thing but again we have uh, uh, provided uh, every single area of the boat which uh, allows is uh, storage dedicated to storage the same goes with this sofa you know where every section has uh, watertight uh, compartments which provide the entire volume of the sofa is uh, storage uh, this uh, uh, is very important because we have uh, so many things uh, that we want to keep on board we want to have them handy we want to have them protected from the elements and storage is never enough so while we are here in the cockpit, uh, incredible feature is this table. Uh, carbon fiber, which uh, of course uh, is uh, foldable. So when it's in the uh, folded position, it's uh, smaller and less invasive, but it's then perfect to provide seating for all eight guests. So what you do, there is a, a, a locking, locking pin under here. Very simple, you slide, you slide it, you unfold it, and now you have uh, a nice metallic finish perfect table to dine and you can have uh, all eight guests uh, on board just having a beautiful alfresco uh, dining here then when you're done you actually just close it re-pull the locking mechanism put it back and you're done cockpit is uh, again so full of features of course you have a convenient storage here now they put a cover there uh, then you have uh, you start with refrigeration here you have a refrigerator convenient drawer refrigerator located here above here this is a panel which is, again is equally convenient when you leave the boat typically your uh, engine batteries and generators battery switches will be on the off position already you will have the service battery on the on position as it is right now when you leave the boat you don't have to worry about any turning any light off anything you just turn this switch on the other way and the entire boat goes uh, you know dark and then when you come back to the boat instead of going through every area and turning on all your lights the way you wanted you just switch this switch 
in the other position and everything uh, come back to the way you left it. While we are here, awning out, awning in. That is that awning that you see right there. Today in Florida, as you can see from my sweating, uh, is extremely hot. Sun is uh, hammering us, so we decided to leave it open, and that's where you control that awning. You move uh, aft a little, and then you have, of course, your first alfresco, uh, you know, station here, where you have your canyon grill and integrated sink, room for your trash, conveniently located here, and an ice maker. Uh, our ice makers actually, uh, by, D, by, by code, we need to, uh, we can't feed ice makers with water from the tanks because it's not hygienic. So you have units which are filled with the mineral water. You put your mineral water here and then the ice maker gets the water from there. And so that's why everything is designed to access that in order to refill your water. So all the storage on board, for instance, can be extremely convenient for uh, water storage. Now, I would say, let's go to the flybridge while we are here. And while we are on the flybridge, actually going in the highest uh, uh, part of the boat make me uh, think uh, how important it is for the highest part of the boat to be light. So it's the perfect time to mentioned that the new S7, the entire superstructure, as well as the transom and the garage doors are all uh, laminated in carbon fiber. And the reason is exactly that. In order to be able to grant this kind of square footage containing the weight, which uh, you are talking about anywhere between 30 and 35 percent less weight than the same structures built in, in fiberglass. So that's the reason why we can create uh, such big areas higher in the, in, the, in the boat through using carbon fiber, which of course extend uh, significantly the cost of lamination. The same piece in carbon fiber is 35%, give or take, more expensive to build than in standard fiberglass, but it's completely worth it. While we are here, if you look that, uh, this is a very interesting feature because uh, the cockpit is very usable and uh, in four season weather, so when it rains, uh, what you want to do, you want to make sure that this um, system here is closed and, uh, you know, you can close it and rain will not be able to feed into the cockpit bothering you uh, when you're having uh, your alfresco time down there. And instead, when you don't need to, you kind of leave this closed, always uh, two hands safety device. So when it's locked in place, you think it's extremely solid, it doesn't go very safe. Uh, but that's a very interesting feature. It disappears on the way, but when you need it, you close it, of course, all the way to here, and there will be no rain uh, coming down to the cockpit. Or when you leave the boat uh, and you don't want the rain to dirty uh, the cockpit, you can leave it closed, and so it will be protected from birds and from rain and from dirt. All this sofa that is behind you is all storage. Uh, I'll show you just, uh, I will not open it all, but picture that is in the entire sofa is a storage volume. So again, we are talking about incredible amount of storage on this new S7. Uh, you will have noticed uh, that we are under a Bimini. Actually, the temperature here, it feels like we are in another climate zone compared to down, uh, compared to, down to, the, to the cockpit today. It's nice and breezy, and this Bimini provides phenomenal shading. Uh, the Bimini is electro-hydraulic, so there is no effort to move it. You just connected those four lines when uh, the movement is completed and then you're done uh, it moves by the press of a button through an electro hydraulic system which is, therefore is uh, uh, fairly pricey but also extremely uh, robust strong and more than anything very quiet so that's the difference between electrical motors and hydraulic motors is also power and sound uh, hydraulic is much po more powerful and quieter and it integrates also lighting as you can see so it's beautiful at night you turn on the lights which are integrated in the polished stainless steel structure and uh, to give you you know a very nice uh, welcoming uh, uh, you know ambient up here on the flybridge and this is actually it's a real flybridge because if you look around, I mean, you have, uh, again, the same table that you have in the cockpit here is lights with the same mechanism uh, that we look uh, 
before underneath so you really slide the table extend it it's extremely light like i want you to focus this is real cambar fiber so it's extremely light to manage and now you have a table where everybody can have again another station for alfresco dining up on the flybridge then uh, uh, behind you actually is uh, a full uh, equipped another full equipped bar so you lift this beautiful top and you have your second barbecue station integrated sink and here we go again with refrigeration so refrigerator same ice maker same refrigerator that you have down there so everything is really replicated all the way to the actual trash can which is also the same so you have basically two uh, outdoor kitchen uh, at uh, you know seven eight feet from each other so either you can use either one or you can have somebody having uh, you know a party down there and somebody else uh, doing the same up here if you come here and turn around we take a look at the forward side of the flybridge this is a backrest which is very versatile because when you're in a, in a sofa mode this is your backrest extremely comfortable but then uh, you know when you want to put this area into sunbathing very simply mechanical no movement you turn it like this and it becomes your back uh, your headrest when you are sunbathing in this beautiful area now picture that your bimini top is, is uh, closed is rested away you have beautiful sun you're probably moving with the boat and you want to lay here actually don't mind to show you but you want to lay here in the sun and uh, this is perfect spot for two to lay in the sun very comfortable headrest and uh, and then when you want to put it back into a you know dining lounging mode it becomes a, a backrest all under here uh, i will probably bother you with the amount of uh, storage conversation we will have today but all of that is all storage that can give you an idea of the magnitude of the size of the storage that we have uh, here on the forward side of the flybridge and here we go to the helm helm which is really phenomenal from a visibility standpoint because you can really see everything from your bow to your stern you see everywhere we located the joystick uh, in this position so extremely easy to maneuver the same goes downstairs so once you get used to maneuver your boat both steering station are on the starboard side both joystick are in the same position so when you go from up to down you kind of feel yourself again in the same system that you get used to and while we'll talk about joystick uh, uh, again the s uh, the new s7 has a triple ips 1050 horsepower um, in as far as proportion so that's a, a completely integrated system which uh, goes from the transmission uh, to the pods the shaft line equivalent of shaft line transmission engine all the controls all the way to the electronics is one package sold to us and therefore from us to the consumer by one company which is Volvo Penta. Volvo Penta made this agreement with uh, Garmin which is their electronic system of reference and we buy the entire package from one supplier which is Volvo Penta uh, and uh, uh, that means a lot also for the consumer because it is a one phone call uh, so you call your Volvo dealer and any issue you will have from a propeller to a, a plotter is uh, you have one reference point there is no multiple companies uh, dealing with your propulsion system which is very important uh, we'll look uh, we go through the monitoring system uh, down below uh, just because we will be in the air conditioning it will be a little bit better you don't need to see me sweating but again the the uh, helm and the flybridge is pretty uh, self-explanatory we do install uh, bow thrusters on even on pods boat uh, why? Because technically Volvo claim you don't need a bow thrust and it's true to maneuver the boat and put it in the, in the slip you, the, the pods are, are so good that you really don't need a, a bow thruster. But especially here in the US, this is a perfect example actually where we dock our boats between pilings and this is a boat where really my wife and I can take out for the day and come back and I will probably be on the helm and uh, she will be helping me with the line that's where the bow thruster comes very very handy because i will be able to make very gentle 
movement without any shaking, if you wish. Uh, now here you have uh, over 3,000 horsepower, which are impressing movement to the boat from the stern to the bow. Here instead, I have my 10 kW um, bow thruster, and I can really finesse my maneuvering and have anybody can put a line on a pole uh, without the stress, without jerking off uh, too much in terms of movement. Everything else, again, is very self-explanatory. Of course, Sea Keeper 18 is the model of reference. Uh, for the new S7. You control it from his own panel as well as you have an app uh, which through the Garmin system uh, provides you all the same features that you have from the Seakeeper panel. panel. The exterior entertainment system is uh, Fusion. So you have your main units here and then you have satellite control units in the bow and in the cockpit to control volume and uh, features. And uh, of course cup holder but uh, let's keep it actually an important thing which is uh, a very new and uh, exciting for us is that we moved away from the traditional, if you wish, more traditional polished stainless steel uh, windshield framing and we introduced this new more modern uh, looking anodized aluminum black uh, which is uh, more aggressive and uh, you know a more of a modern uh, touch to the cosmetic of the line of the boat. I think we covered everything here on the flybridge, yeah, I'm pretty sure. While I'm going down, you can appreciate the handrails and always the safety. This is a boat which is a category uh, A from the CE, which means that has no limit of navigation in terms of distance or weather condition, uh, distance from, the, from, from land and weather condition. So that's why uh, safety is definitely number one priority. Um, and I think we can go and look at the interior. We did cover everything, I would say, in the cockpit. So welcome to Azimut Yacht's brand new S7. Now, while we are talking, we are in the interior immediately. We want to talk about a little bit about design and architecture. So the exterior line of this new model is uh, by Alberto Mancini. Alberto Mancini is the designer of reference for Azimut Yachts since a few years now. Uh, he designed uh, all our newest model, uh, starting from the Tri-Deck, our flagship, all the way down to now his uh, latest creation, which is this uh, brand new S7. The interior, instead, is uh, we, we assigned the project to our internal division, which is called Yotik which is a boutique for design, which uh, uh, most of their work uh, is uh, usually done for our Benetti customers, the, the customers of our Benetti uh, range of product. They, they uh, use our design hub, if you wish, architectural hub, uh, and they design uh, their boats. For the new S7, we gave them the challenge to create uh, this uh, new model interior and uh, we are extremely pleased because they came out with something which is really unique, as, uh, is modern, is sleek, but as a class a style, speaks Italian, and uh, we'll go through it. But again, the exterior is done by Alberto Mancini, and the interior is done by Yotik, which is our design hub internally of the Asimo Benetti Group. Uh, same as we discussed before, uh, there is a storage, this entire sofa, apart from being extremely beautiful, but is uh, storage and so is not only beautiful, but is also extremely convenient. And that gives an idea of the kind of volume and uh, access that you have. Again, multiply that for the entire, every single section, non-excluded, has the same feature of lift the, the cushion and uh, lift that panel with the leather lip and the entire volume of the sofa now is storage. Uh, while we are here, a very interesting feature is this table to which uh, Yotik gave this uh, very unique design. So we have this uh, V-shape uh, stainless steel strong leg and uh, this table uh, once again makes, uh, is very versatile, makes a lot of magic. So you have, uh, first of all, we decided to have two tables. So it gives you the versatility where one you can raise it and use it to dine and the other one you can keep it down as a coffee table as it is right now because maybe it's only the two of you on board and you don't need a big table to dine. Or you can lift both up, connect them and then becomes again a, a dining table for 
eight people, very comfortable. You control the tables from here, you see, to the press of a button. Let's use that as a reference, and uh, now the table comes up. And we'll see that we have the same mechanism that we have seen in the cockpit and on the flybridge. So once you learn it and once you uh, remember where the mechanism is underneath, you just pull it, put the table closer to you, and then there is another one here. You slide it, you remove your beautiful book, and then you flip it, and there you go. You have a perfectly comfortable we still have a, you know, a sticker from production here. A uh, comfortable dining table um, that uh, can be then connected to the other one. Now picture that you leave the other one in the same position and now you have dining for eight. When you're done, you just redo the same exact movement. You put it back and uh, you locate your pin again, which is now right here. You push it out, safely lock in place. And if you want, you leave it up. And if you don't want, you lower it with these uh, electrical, uh, you know, switches. You see there's two up and down. They control, uh, you know, both tables. Another phenomenal feature. This is fantastic. If you look at here now, of course, uh, we have a beautiful 25-meter Magellano. Other brand new boat just came from Italy. They were on the same ship, actually. Uh, but look at the amount of natural light that you have in this salon. Now picture yourself at the anchor in Sardinia, in the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos. Uh, any beautiful place in the world and look at the amount of beauty which will come into this boat and uh, if you actually turn around and come this way I want to show you the uh, door because uh, is also another interesting feature which provide a complete uh, communication with very simple movements of course always safety first so you see you lock in place these uh, uh, slider then you bring this one back okay and you free that one from you see two movement and now you see the slider on the back and you slide it all the way in this pocket and now they all store completely safety each one cannot move so you can leave them open even if the boat is rolling and uh, you have complete communication look at this you have no steps from the last step coming in from the cockpit all the way to the steps going down to the lower deck. You have absolutely no step. This is also thanks to this uh, oversized drainage system that we have here. So we could avoid to make a big uh, frame step at the door. And now with the door open, you can see that uh, communication between interior and exterior is uh, phenomenal. And it uh, gives you this very open feeling of course uh, weather need to cooperate uh, you know and uh, but today wouldn't be the day where you would have this open because it's too hot in Florida but uh, the winter in Florida or many other places this will be phenomenal but when you want to close it again it might look a little mechanical the movement I make but this is all for safety every single door have to lock in the end of of positions because you don't want the door to slide and hit someone that is passing through in between. Now we'll go through uh, details here. So this is where all your glassware is located. So again, perfect position to serve the interior and the exterior. Uh, so if you're drinking outside and you want to set the table outside, this is a perfect spot. So you, we will see that all your glassware and your china is all here, all in one spot. So perfectly located to serve the three dining area in a central location. Here you have a, a storage unit and you will wonder maybe what is this. This is the emergency escape for the crew quarters that we will take a look at later. But by code, we need to do an emergency escape also on this side. So that's why you see this panel. But you can store, uh, you know, anything you want in front of it as long as it's easily removable in case of an emergency. While we are here, you have uh, all your control system. Interesting is this, which is the domotic control of the lighting system. So you can decide to turn on or off all the lights of the main deck through one button, or you can set four different modes that you can program uh, as you wish. And uh, uh, so when you press one of these button, all the lighting on board will set to that uh, preset parameters that you decided. 
Of course, those are individual switches which control instead every zone and every light in a more traditional way. But this is very convenient. You would come on board, press on and off. This is your control for your TV ILO that you can see coming out from there. So again, once you don't watch TV, you want to make sure that you have uh, no obstruction of visibility. Uh, but then, uh, you know, when you do, it's very convenient to take it in and out. And uh, we'll leave it like that for now. And then here, just uh, we're going to show you all the uh, storage. This is a section of audio video components. And uh, we have, uh, as always, very easy uh, access to uh, systems which require interaction. So this is uh, one of the uh, air conditioning fan coil of the air conditioning system. The filter is located right here in front of the coils and uh, it's something that you want to clean often. So again, it's just removing a panel and then putting it back and done. So all your china, as I said before, is uh, conveniently uh, stored right here. So you have all your plates, all your cups, everything uh, is uh, labeled. Of course, this is all custom made for the new S7 Azimuth Yachts, and then go back in place. Each, uh, each uh, cut is isolated with neoprene to avoid uh, damages and noise in navigation. So you see that black trim is uh, a neoprene cut, and then each component stays in place. And then here on the last cabinet, we have uh, your wine cooler. Properly vented, you see grills to provide ventilation. To the wine cooler and this is a perfect location to store your favorite wines. Uh, take a look at the ceiling because this is probably the best uh, place to do so because this is a piece of art. Extremely difficult to manufacture and uh, is uh, uh, you know uh, a very unique uh, uh, detail of the new S7. We, we have spent countless hours discussing about this ceiling. Uh, as I said, complexity uh, production wasn't uh, extremely happy to uh, this decision, but the final result uh, is, uh, is, I would say, is phenomenal. And is integrated air conditioning system, so you see these slots that you see, you barely see these cuts and this opening is, this is where the air conditioning flow comes out of. And then you have these beautiful integrated uh, longitudinal lines of uh, LED lighting, which uh, has the strip as well as the sets of three uh, spotlights. So we have done a lot of research, a lot of uh, lighting engineering, we call it, on the new S7. You will see there's light features and uh, everywhere. It's, it's actually too bad that uh, we are doing this during the day because the exterior lighting work that we have done is phenomenal. There's an LED strip which follows the entire superstructure of the boat all over uh, all around and so imagine that at night created that uh, light profile around the superstructure which is simply phenomenal extremely elegant elegant as uh, for instance detail of this beautiful leather and here this is a place where you will keep some magazine so want to give that uh, uh, residential luxurious feeling of uh, different elements talking about different elements before i forget I will mention something about uh, the, the wood. So this is oak, 20% gloss, and this is actually walnut, 50% gloss. So it's a combination of uh, different material, uh, different wood, which uh, create uh, this uh, very uh, you know, elegant uh, combination. And the same has been done with the usage of uh, geometry of the mirrors. You see all the details that could have been a straight line and instead they require carving and work on both mirrors and wood to create a more unique profile. And then we move a, a few feet forward and we have, of course, galley. Galley, you see this beautiful synthetic uh, marble countertop, which provides the same aesthetics, the same look of marbles, but is resistant to anything. So you have no problem. You don't have to worry about uh, damaging this countertop in any way. And uh, let's uh, dig a little bit into the technicalities. I will start from here. This is uh, your first of many storage solution here, but also has double purpose because simply by lifting this panel right here, 
you access what? Another fan coil. So when you need to clean that filter, of course you will have some of your uh, stored uh, food in here. You need to just remove it. Uh, you don't do this every, every week. Uh, but you remove it and then to clean your fan coil filter, you just lift that panel up and you access your fan coil. And then we go on with the storage in terms of refrigeration. Very important, so you have, you have a refrigerator drawer on the top. You have a freezer drawer on the bottom. And then you have another refrigerator unit right here, another drawer right here. So you have now a total of three refrigerator compartment in the galley. Remember, you have an ice maker and a refrigerator in the cockpit, and you have an ice maker and a refrigerator on the flybridge. So the refrigerator capacity, actually, and it's not over. I'll show you another refrigerator in a bit. Going to uh, storage, of course, here is your trash, and here is a part of your storage, probably pots and pans will be a good spot here, uh, conveniently located. Uh, another drawer, other pots and pans, most likely. Uh, or food and pots and pans, anyway, a lot of storage. Uh, you have your oven, your induction, brand always Miele, uh, so top German, integrated hood, so you open the, the, these louvers and then you select the power of extraction, so the, the hood is integrated, but we also provide natural ventilation, so through, you see with this button, you open automatically that window, and uh, you have uh, natural airflow in case you are cooking something which odors or vapors, you know, they will be sucked out from this electric window. You have this area right here, which is actually very convenient, uh, uh, three divided pockets, so uh, objects in there, they don't fly around when you are on navigation, but it's very convenient also storage for galley or any other uh, miscellaneous things that you want to have around. And um, you might wonder, Okay, the storage uh, is, 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 is good, but it doesn't seem like you can have uh, uh, a lot of space to feed uh, uh, eight people on board uh, in a cruise. And that's why you get here, and this is your pantry. This is your real pantry, where you have an immense column, which uh, can be fulfilled with any kind of uh, uh, food uh, needed. So you have uh, now your three refrigerator, the full pantry, and all the rest of the storage that we show that to create uh, all the galley uh, storage. While here, I'll show you this. This is the, where your electrical system is located, okay? So you have uh, your DC uh, breaker system here and your AC breaker system is right here. So very easy to access control. Each uh, uh, load is protected. These are breaker switches and uh, so easy accessible and clear, you close it and it disappears. While here, the helm. Again, you see very similar ergonomics to the flybridge helm to uh, make sure that uh, there is that comfort zone, that you know that your helm uh, on the boat is, uh, uh, both helms are on the same side and you're maneuvering habits, if you wish, because that's it. When the boat becomes yours, you develop some sort of knowledge, you know your boat and you feel comfortable, your habits of maneuvering are the same. Also here, very conveniently located uh, electric window, joystick uh, right here, and now you can look outside, you can see your bow, you can see your stern, and you are now controlling your boat with your joystick, which you don't need to look, of course, and uh, from here you have a perfect view on your side to dock the boat. And then the helm, of course you have everything uh, uh, as we said before, uh, on the flybridge. The only thing that I would probably spend a uh, few minutes here is maybe to go to the monitoring system, which is uh, very interesting, which is right here. And uh, oh, this is beautiful air conditioning. Oh my God, love it. Um, monitoring system provided by Garmin. Uh, so same package, uh, again, from the propeller to here is all uh, uh, one supplier, the Volvo Penta Group. And uh, here you have uh, various pages that you see down here. For instance, right now we are in the air conditioning page right here, which is very convenient because you see with this button right here, you can select all the air conditioning uh, fan coil. Each uh, of these symbols indicate where there is a fan coil on board. You can select them all, and now you're controlling temperature and fan speed all from here. Or you can do it individually 
and then you see, for instance, this is the VIP cabin fan coil, and here is set at 69, fan speed 1. And I can decide and change each one individually or all together at once. Uh, you have then your bilge pump uh, control page, where here you have the, all the description of each uh, bilge area and related pump. You can set in automatic or in manual. Your AC, uh, very important page, uh, very conveniently located. Everything AC is here. You can start and stop your generator from here. You see it says hold two seconds, and that will start your generator. And then you connect your generator. So you touch this for two seconds. This symbol right here will close. As you see, this and this, now they are closed because I have two shore power, one and two, entering the boat. So we call these bars. These bars are now closed. These bars are now open. So you close these bars, and uh, shore power one and two are feeding the boat. When you leave the dock, you disconnect the shore power cord. Remember to do that. You have your generator on. That's when you connect this. This will close. These two will open. This will close, and now the generator is feeding bar A and bar B from one source. So everything is located in one page. Same goes with DC. These are all your batteries on board, service, bow thrust, or gen set, starboard, middle port. Each engine has its own start batteries. And then this is your service battery, the most important. You see a lot of amperes draw right now. And uh, bow thruster and gen set generators. This is all your DC. Navigation, you control your windshield wiper. Uh, you have your pitch angle, your roll angle measured when you, when you, when you cruise. Uh, so it tells you the position of your swim platform, if it's up or down, the temperature of your engine room, or you can set the extractor to, to control the, temp the temperature in the engine room on automatic or on constantly or off constantly. You can control the speed, their variable speed extractor of your extractor. Why that? Let's say you come back from cruising, you want to leave your extraction system on in the engine room to make sure that it cool down, but you also want to sit in the cockpit and enjoy a nice cold beer, maybe after a long navigation. You don't want to hear too much noise from the extractor that are very powerful. That's when you would control the speed, so you make them like a fan coil, like, the, right, like this, the same as this. You make it lower speed, so it still extract, but it doesn't make uh, much noise. Then you control your lights here, your navigation lights, anchor lights, uh, you know, the red the, the light right there, navigation light for the night, on and off. Another very important page, you want to always know your levels and control your pumps. So black water pump obviously can only be manual, so you can discharge only when you are uh, at the distance from the, from the coast required by the Coast Guard. And then you put on your black water discharge pump. Instead, the gray water tank, you most likely will leave it always in automatic, which means that once the tank reaches a certain level, the pump starts automatically. You don't have to worry about anything. Water get out, and then once the level goes down, there's another switch which stops the pump. So this is the most convenient way to keep your gray water pump. Air conditioning, we saw it before. This is your alarm page, which gives you the active alarm. And this is actually another page which is uh, very convenient because uh, of course, it gives you the heading. You want to know that your bow to, to, to calculate the, with the wind and make sure that your bow is in the wind. You want to know your depth, and that's uh, when you uh, release, uh, you know, anchor uh, through these two buttons right here. So windlass up, windlass down. So here is when you control your retrieving of your anchor, and here is where you, meanwhile, read how much feet of chain you're giving which uh, compared to the depth next, uh, next to it, uh, you have all the information you need. And the rest is settings, which we don't want to go through now. Uh, I think we covered the helm. I mean, of course, convenience is marked location of both uh, standard plug as well as USB. This will be a station where when you are navigating, you most likely will have your cell phone and you want to make sure that it's charged. Uh, we can take a look at the ergonomics because, uh, again, it's, it's extremely comfortable. So once you are long navigation, you put down your foot rest and you really look at the position. You can stay here for hours and uh, also with a companion and uh, you can navigate. We made them extremely ergonomic and of course you can adjust the, the height. You see I'm going up and down and you can adjust the uh, forward and back. It's all electric so you can really set yourself for a comfortable position. Same goes with the helm station. Where you can correct, you can control the angle of your uh, helm, uh, uh, your wheel, and uh, 
and then you customize to your ergonomics. And once you want to stand, this is, becomes your bolter seat and it's perfect uh, lumbar support, very uh, comfortable and visibility, I mean, is a second to none. I have really a 360 degrees visibility with minus, uh, minor interruption for framing, but again, it's, it's really a 360 degrees uh, total visibility, which also in terms of safety, extremely important. I would say let's uh, go down to the lower deck. We cover our pantry, and now we're going to land in 70 feet. It's not that common because we want to land into a lobby. Um, while you're there, don't move because this is a very important part. We're going to cover your laundry station. Uh, so washer and dryer side by side. It couldn't be more conveniently located, you know, also for practical uh, usage of the appliances. So you have uh, access to the stairs or to the cabin and to your load here. So you have a separated washer and dryer unit. You don't have a combo, which is fantastic. You have uh, each individual unit and we switch. And here you have uh, a very convenient, that's why I call this uh, a little bit of a lobby, like on larger yachts where you, when you go to the lower deck, you have a lobby where a uh, common area where all the guests uh, can benefit from. And in this case, you have a refrigerator, the one I discussed to you about before which is perfect for night uh, consumption. You have storage underneath here, and uh, you have storage here, you have storage here. And actually, this is a very intelligent, uh, you know, I like uh, also technical side uh, of the product, and, and that's where it makes the difference. What is that? That is the, your hot water heater. And this right here, behind this black box, is where you have the heating element. The heating element is, uh, is, uh, is basically a serpentine, of, of metal which becomes very hot through power which is, comes in from this wire right here and that's what makes the water hot basically it stays in that container is hot the heating elements in water heater is the only thing which can break the water heater is basically a container of water there's nothing which can go wrong with it the, the heating element instead uh, it does go wrong no matter who build the boat no matter who build the heater sooner or later an heating element need to be replaced and that's how, look how easy and convenient would that be on this boat. You remove probably uh, three towels and two glasses, open this, a screwdriver, and you replace your heating element and you're done. If you have a spare on board, then your vacation will be safe. In 10, 15 minutes, you're gonna take another hot shower. Another storage uh, here. While you're there, don't move. We have uh, this, uh, you might wonder what these two little tab are. You remove this panel right here, and these are UPS. Uh, UPS uh, salon, UPS cabins. Those are basically battery banks which feed uh, the audio video system. So for instance, when you are leaving the dock and you are moving from shore power, uh, power uh, sources to generator in that fraction of time, if you somebody's watching a movie, watching TV, using any uh, audio video equipment, uh, the power will cut off. Even if it's for a fraction of a second, the TV will basically shut off and you need to restart it, your movie will be lost. What these two systems right here do, they keep the power on. They are, they are uh, temporary backup of AC power. So when you pass from shore power to generator or vice versa, you don't have any interruption in any uh, media and audio video on board. So that's what they are. And uh, now let's enter this because uh, is really the heart of the new S7, is the uh, owner cabin, and uh, is uh, simply fantastic. This is where you see uh, really uh, our design, our Yotik uh, team at its best uh, of, uh, of uh, their creativity, because uh, you can look at the amount of details and uh, the, the, it really feels like a much larger uh, yacht than, than a 70-footer. Uh, where to start? This is actually a very interesting area right here. Very residential, gives you the feeling of being at home. So this, uh, uh, you know, uh, cabinetry which is made in glass, if you actually turn on the light inside, you see, you can see through. So if you keep all your things nice uh, and neat or your crew does it for you, then you might want to expose this and see all your uh, beautiful belongings exposed. If instead uh, you are like me, maybe a little bit more messy when it comes to behind door. Uh, you know, you 
take the AUC, it becomes mirrored and you don't see the content. And then inside is a phenomenal uh, storage for him and his and her. So this is one and this other one is actually one door so it's more convenient and duplicate the same. So you have three very large shelves and then this pocket for uh, you know watches uh, for for any any sort of uh, need for storage right here so this is a if you look at it from there i'm sure it gives a, a feeling of uh, being really in a beautiful uh, home uh, it doesn't even feel like uh, you are on a boat anymore so here there is what we call the hidden drawer while we're here so this is again drawer comes out you can put storage we, we talk about storage so much on this boat so this is another example where we could avoid that and instead because we'll see there is so much storage in the cabin but why there was this entire volume of space which would have been unused and we decided to do this hidden drawer uh, right here and then of course vanity perfect positioning uh, when uh, open mirror and light integrated so really everything she needs and then you fold it down, disappear, it could be a desk uh, to, to work on the computer if you want to be. So while we are here and we talk about storage as now customary on all our products, also on the new S7, you see, look at the amount of storage you have uh, here under the, the master bed. So suitcases, um, you know, supplies, extra water, uh, you know, supplies for the cabin, you name it, you have room for everything. And then if you come here, we have uh, this side, which is equally, actually while you're here, all our uh, locking system of all the S7 is magnetic, so you don't have that crunchy uh, mechanical movement, but when the door closed, there is a magnetic catch, which closed the door. And then when you touch the handles, you release the magnetic field and, uh, and uh, you don't have that, uh, uh, mechanical sound of the traditional locking system. We were talking about lights, so here are beautiful light design that uh, our Yotik uh, Design Lab introduced on the uh, S7 along with the same LED strip that you have seen in the salon. You have beautiful and convenient drawer, drawer set here, so two drawers, one deeper, one narrower, uh, but uh, in this beautiful piece made of two tones so you see also the attention to details again this is a topi gray and this is a, a lacquer cream uh, combined with the leather uh, you know a, a saddle uh, leather top which create that uh, very elegant uh, feeling you have a storage here same identical on the other side uh, actually, the one on the other side, I will not go through it, but uh, the one on the other side has two catches inside. You lift it up and you access your fan coil. Uh, you see, you can see the, the latches from here. Uh, same storage unit, but you see this one has these latches. You just lift this up and under here is your fan coil so you can uh, have your filter properly maintained and clean. And here are uh, what we call, you know, those little design uh, pieces is a, is a beautiful box completely wrapped in Italian leather all the leather work you see here uh, of course uh, is Italian like the rest of the boat but it's also is all handmade by our upholstery department none of the leather that you can see are not the sofa the cushions nothing you can buy this is all custom made by Azimuth for the S7 in our own upholstery department which is made by phenomenal ladies which do incredible job with the upholstery and uh, leather work. Instead of the traditional uh, nice stand with drawers, which are a little clumsy, they decided to uh, have these, uh, what we call pocket emptier uh, devices on each side. And of course you have all your light control there. And uh, the television actually comes up and down from there. You can actually probably push that button you see the up and down here and uh, your television comes up and uh, when you want to watch TV you keep it up and when you don't you put it down and then you can appreciate also down here in the lower deck the size of those windows which both incorporate natural ventilation so we always have 
uh, you know, phenomenal windows in terms of size, but we always keep a natural ventilation. In case you don't want to use air conditioning, uh, there are areas. In Italy, for instance, uh, when it's June, July, and September, October cruising uh, is, is very, very often we don't, we don't use air conditioning. You keep uh, uh, those two portals uh, slightly crank, you have the nice breeze and you can sleep uh, uh, technically with the generator off because if you don't need air conditioning uh, and it's uh, fantastic. Now you might wonder what this door is. Phenomenal walk-in closet, look at this. Uh, first of all, integrate the mirror here so when you're done and you're ready to go out you can really see yourself perfectly. Uh, and then here you have uh, a walk-in closet which two hanging bar one for longer gowns for the ladies and then one for normal uh, you know slacks uh, or jackets drawers in you know four drawers big and nice and then of course shelves a nice uh, plane here and uh, of course you're safe once again technical space uh, this is something that you know you take off this you have your emergency build system pump here in case of need and then once you remove this panel guess what is down there your air conditioning unit so by simply pulling this tab right here look no excuses this is how easy it is to take the, the filter out and clean it and put it back in and uh, and then you see with the really easy very well engineered um, you know it can be um, put together and taken apart in really a matter of seconds and uh, off you go and uh, your air conditioning system is uh, maintained but again walk-in closet very convenient I mean I'm uh, what six feet under than 63 pounds and I am moving in here very conveniently I can do all my ergonomic take my clothes and uh, you know it's, it's really it's a really walk-in closet and now I have to admit that we are probably going into at least my personal favorite part of this boat, which is this bathroom, which is phenomenal. I have a, a fetish for bathrooms and kitchen, I admit it. My house is a 3,000 square feet kitchen, basically, with a couple of rooms around it. Uh, but yeah, and bathrooms, look at this bathroom. Again, we, we don't have to forget, we're talking about 70 feet. Look at this shower. Let's start from the star. This is really, this is a two-person shower. I will not ask you to come in here with me, uh, Josh, but uh, this is, look at this. This is a, the size of this shower is incredible. Uh, I mean, I don't have a shower this big at home. And, uh, and actually an interesting feature, which we should turn off the lights to see, but uh, we'll do it for a second. Look, this part of the window, uh, actually, Okay, now you see this part is clear so you can have natural light coming in from the cabin and then of course when it gets down to the more interesting areas uh, becomes uh, dark and you don't see anymore but this window this window is on the other side of the cabin and this uh, top part is uh, clear and shaded to dark so you can have also natural light coming from that side in the bathroom uh, so anyway phenomenal shower and uh, storage everywhere you have uh, storage of course under the sink beautiful look how deep uh, deep drawer here for all your accessories you have storage here uh, for little towels storage uh, around here and then you have uh, two drawers set here which uh, kind of uh, um, remind the one of the in the cabin so that keeps the same geometry and same look of the one in the cabin you have a storage compartment here very nice and deep and the same goes on this side storage compartment here not as deep but uh, again this tab right here I will not waste too much of your time but you leave this panel and is to access the plumbing behind the toilet so water sources uh, uh, easy accessible in case of need the same goes here you might wonder what these are these are technical access so we made them as beautiful panel but in case of need these let's open this one for instance these are technical access where you control all your um, in this instance those are fresh water valve um, you remove these and that's where you control all your fresh water distribution manifolds 
of uh, the cabin from there. And you can also see the level of quality. I always like to uh, show backstage. So you see every pipe is insulated. Those are hot water pipe, completely insulated. You see also the one going down there. So they don't lose temperature in their route to the, to the final destination. Instead, that's cold water and you see that it's not insulated. Everything is labeled. You see that tells you exactly which manifold and which, uh, what control what. And then when you are done, done with your uh, maintenance, you just close it back, put it back, and, uh, and then you're done. The same goes there, there's other manifolds. So this is technical, technical space. Um, and then this, actually we have uh, these uh, residential looking uh, containers, which are very convenient too. One, two, three. So you have three, this is uh, your glass, so your toothbrushes, while you don't want to pollute the look or the beauty of this area. Look at this sink, look at the faucet with this uh, uh, Brunito. I, I really don't know how you say that in English, I should learn it, but that is a very modern, cool looking uh, faucet that are throughout the boat. So you don't want to have your, your toothbrushes and this is the perfect place where you see you have a dedicated uh, glass here uh, to, to leave uh, and uh, to leave here everything that you don't want to leave uh, on the you know on the on the countertop so very nice it needs you store here you see each one opens and everything you don't want to see there you leave it in here so everything thought through sockets with gfci toilet with bidet feature that's uh, your bidet feature here uh, integrated in the toilet and so I would say that this is the master cabin. We completed it and we can move on. I will say we go to the VA, VAPC. I show you under the bed, I did. Uh, we covered this, we did the washer and dryer, we did the UPS. So now let's go in order of size. So here is the VIP cabin. Again, very generous. First and foremost, what comes to immediately the attention is the amount of natural light with natural ventilation. We'll not repeat that, but gives you the feeling. Storage everywhere, so each volume has uh, storage availability. Storage, this is for, again, long uh, gowns for, for girls. On the other side, you have an identical closet with shelves uh, and a shorter uh, space for uh, men's shirts or pants so you have uh, both uh, you know uh, flexible for his and hers and then of course as in every other area look at the amount of storage you have under the bed this is where your bow thruster batteries are and this is uh, you may wonder what this hole is this is the emergency switch for the bow thruster god forbid the bow thruster uh, needs uh, sometimes they, they stay stuck and that's why it's mandatory to have an emergency sheet. You press this button and you cut the power from the bow thruster. And that's why it needs to be very easily accessible and uh, safety first. And uh, this is actually, I can show you actually. This is the bow thruster battery banks. And this is the switch. This is the emergency switch uh, that cut off the power to the bow thruster in case of uh, emergency need. Okay. Uh, but again, everything else instead is available storage. These are actually, uh, this is a, an overall story. This, we deliver every azimuth yacht comes with these two bags and they contain basically all the literature of all the components and system on board. You see all the manuals and all the, uh, you see for instance, uh, this is the installation guide for an electric thruster. So all the uh, documentation of all the system that we install on the board, on board, are put together nicely by our team and they are delivered in Azimut Yacht branded bags. Uh, so all your manuals are here and uh, here actually are more uh, dedicated documents. Here typically you have uh, uh, the boat owner manual, the warranty booklet, matter of fact, you know, warranty booklet and all your documents are, this is the owner manual. They are nicely stored in these beautiful uh, bags. You close them, you put it wherever you feel comfortable on board, and uh, but they're nice and stored. Actually, this panel right here is the, your access to the bow thruster in case you need to service, and also is a uh, uh, room for storage. But this is your 10 kW 
bow thruster motor right here that's the frequency drive of the bow thruster and so this is your bow thruster area this actually right there that is the chain washing pump so uh, the, the, when you when you drop the anchor and you wash your your chain that's pump take water from the ocean you don't wash your anchor chain with fresh water from the tank of course uh, takes water from the ocean and uh, wash the anchor chain in case it goes bad because pumps are pumps uh, extremely easy to replace I mean it's really a matter of in 20 minutes you can put a new pump you pump there with perfect access and nothing to take apart uh, but again look at the amount of storage uh, in this uh, under bed compartment is uh, impressive um, as I said storage on the other side you have audio video with Bose and flat screen TV uh, perfectly located so when you are in bed you can watch a movie with the video and sound of top quality and here you have the VIP and suite and suite with of course the storage everywhere uh, oh sorry storage everywhere possible look at the amount of storage over here again for your toothbrushes so they're hidden once again once you see these panels is because they come off because behind there is a the technical components which could be the same valves that we saw in the other cabin I will not repeat that but if you see areas like this is because they easily come off and then go back together in place so uh, that's why they, they you see them uh, uh, protruding out like that so you have storage behind the toilet and uh, you know the shower actually I'll go in the shower and then you come in so because the shower is extremely roomy and spacious as well so we did an amazing job with showers look uh, look at the amount of volume I have here and then you put your telephone shower here and imagine the jet is here and uh, again I can move uh, with no constraint and no issues very very comfortable uh, and again uh, perfectly perfectly done separated door so if you get out uh, uh, we are now shooting a video so typically you wouldn't do that when you are uh, on board so but uh, when you are by yourself you, have, you really have uh, all the room you need and now we can move to the uh, guest cabin so here we have a side by side very comfortable very roomy look at the amount of space you have in between the bed you know and the size of the bed themselves no problem to show you but uh, I would definitely have no problem at all to have this as the cabin assigned to me I mean a very comfortable very roomy uh, for a side by side in 70 feet um, storage everywhere again storage up here uh, this is an immense storage for this cabin so shelves are hanging shelves and again, once you see those panels with the pull out, is because behind there is a let, uh, not necessarily electrical, technical areas which need to be easily accessible. So you don't need tools. Like the 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 goal there, when you see these kind of panels that I'm showing you through the boat, is that you need to be able to access those areas with no tools. Okay, so that's uh, very important because it makes everything easier and faster to assess. And then under the beds in every cabin so this one is not excluded look at the amount of storage this is of course graded and vented so airflow can be granted uh, to the mattress and to the uh, stored uh, materials in there but again you have uh, two uh, very uh, you know generous storage volume and then here you have your fun coil once again so cleaning your filter and uh, putting it back extremely easy and then you close and the same goes for these other mattress on this side so uh, you know you have access to uh, you have uh, access to technical spaces on this side but you also have a nice uh, convenient volume of storage there for either the crew to leave uh, uh, supply for the night for the area or for this cabin to uh, you know have uh, the store uh, the storage they need extra storage uh, this uh, works as the cabin head as well as a, a, a day head so you will see there's a door on that side right here 
and then there is a door on this side. So this cabin and that cabin share the head as well as this as a function of a day head. So if you are on that side, you will see it still come with a separated shower. So uh, very roomy, very comfortable. Again, no constraint of any kind. I have my shower telephone here and I can turn 360 degrees and move uh, without any uh, interference. And the uh, bathroom is very, very roomy. Uh, this also, I remember, works as a day head. Uh, so, but you have a storage here, storage here, so you can really, uh, you know, leave a lot on board. If this is a family boat with the kids and so on and so forth, you can really travel with minimum uh, luggage because you can leave on board all your belongings and all you need uh, to cruise and enjoy the boat and then go back, on, go back home again very lightly packed because you can leave so much stuff on this boat that you really come with a backpack and go boating and then go home with the same backpack. Cabin here. This is a, uh, an L shape. Uh, so in order to fit the fourth cabin, we needed to uh, provide uh, this uh, solution, which actually is, uh, is very comfortable. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not a bunk bed by any mean. Of course, you want to put your feet on here, but once you are up, you know, in uh, is a, a very, uh, comfortable and uh, welcoming uh, position. Again, I would uh, sleep, this is ideal probably for kids, but I would have no problem if somebody invited me on S7 for a weekend and they tell me that this is my cabin, I'll be first one on board. So it's very, very comfortable. Um, storage everywhere, dedicated audio video to each of the bed. Uh, so there is a TV down there for this lower bunk and then there is a TV up there for this higher bank. And there's a big, nice volume of storage here uh, with shelves and hanging bar right there for all the... And uh, as we said before, in the other cabin, immense amount of storage. One and two are storage, so the easier accessible. And the last one there without the grills is, guess what? Your air conditioning fan coil, extremely easy to access. So storage, storage, storage. So really a cabin which again can be filled with, uh, with a, lot of, uh, a lot of miscellaneous staff that uh, you, can leave, uh, you can leave on board. So I think that uh, we are done with the lower deck. I believe we cover it all. And uh, I think we are missing just the bow. When we did the exterior, I don't think we did the bow. So let's uh, Let's do the bow and that will give us an opportunity to once again walk through this uh, beautiful S7 and then we'll take a look at the crew quarters and the engine room which uh, we consider technical spaces. So let's go here on the starboard side and uh, we'll see, well look at me, look at, check the, how convenient and comfortable is the side walking and more than anything how safe. Look at the height of this handrail. So imagine rough weather and you need to go to the bow. This, this is extremely safe and uh, properly uh, dimensioned. This is actually very convenient for the US. It's a sideboarding gate. You know, when you open it and here you will have your market ladder, which this is actually a perfect uh, configuration where you could be on floating dock without a stern dock. And here you put your market ladder or your sideboarding ladder uh, rather and, uh, and uh, you can go in and out of the boat very easily from the side, which is very convenient in the US. And the same goes on the port side. So we keep going forward. Again, handrail, always safely located. And look at this bow. First of all, the size. Look at the volume here. We're really echo. This, you, you can start seeing the LED light I was talking about uh, before. That goes in and does the entire perimeter of the boat. And imagine that at night, extremely beautiful. And uh, here you have a sofa, same uh, story, storage everywhere. This storage actually units, I will not go and waste your time removing cushion, but this storage goes from side to side and is designed to hold the six carbon fiber poles and bimini top 
which are an option to convert this area in a beautiful shaded area. So you can use it in a sand lounge if you want to, but if you order the option of the poles, you can use only four of them and a smaller bimini, or you can put all six out and a bigger bimini which cover the entire area. And now you will have this area in the wind, in the breeze, and in the shade, which will make it extremely enjoyable. Everything is stored in this dedicated storage compartment here. Very cleverly done. Talking about clever, this is a very interesting solution. Now is in a lounging configuration, so you're here with your friends, you have your coffee table here, your drinks, maybe enjoying a cigar at night in the breeze. But then during the day, with a very simple movement, uh, extremely light, so it can be done also by a girl without any problem. Look, you converted this into a beautiful, at least a three people sunbathing area. Look at this. Perfect angle for your rest and you can spend, you know, hours here sunbathing. And then when the night come, you know, you just uh, very simple movement and you convert it into a sofa, right? So, perfect. We thank uh, these uh, fellow Americans, friend uh, for uh, his music. You know, there's nothing better than enjoying boating. He has his music going on by himself. Look at that. And um, bow area, worth talking about because uh, there is uh, uh, a lot of storage. Look at the amount of volume of storage. This will be perfect for fenders, cleaning, uh, cleaning equipment, and there is also a fresh water wash down, which uh, is located right there. You don't use that to wash your chain, but you use that for any uh, fresh water. That water comes from the fresh water tank. The pump that I was talking to you about before in the VAP cabin is actually uh, the pump which feed this uh, water right here. So this is the control, you see? That's the pump that washes your chain, and that water comes from the ocean, actually. So, anchor windlass. I think we, we, cover, uh, we cover the bow, beautiful details, integrated scenic lighting. So again, once you have all your LED strip, which uh, goes all the way down, and you have this light on, uh, you know, at night is a phenomenal configuration. Uh, look at the complexity also, look at the beauty of this, uh, of this piece here and how we integrated the LED lighting. So these are very difficult geometries to make in terms of uh, fiberglass work. Another aspect of this new S7, which is impressive on one end, is beautiful, but is also difficult and pricey, is the amount of glass. Uh, so, if you look at the boat from the side and when you go on the website, you see the amount of glass that this boat has is incredible. There's glass everywhere. Glass starts here and finish all the way on this side. You have a 360 degrees main deck, which is basically, if you take a look, maybe on one of the two sides, you will see that the glass really never ends. It goes to the windshield and come back all the way on this side. And when you go to the hull, you see this, the master cabin glass, uh, they are enormous. The VIP cabin, extremely large. So the amount of glass, this is all tempered, custom made. As you can imagine, these are all custom geometry, custom curve, custom uh, fabricated and designed by our supplier 4DS7. So a lot of glass work. And uh, I think uh, that's about it. Maybe we uh, talk a little bit about performance and then we're ready to go in the technical side, uh, crew quarters and engine room. Uh, so performance, as I said at the beginning, triple IPS 1050 as far as uh, propulsion power. Uh, boat which cruises uh, at uh, 26, 27 knots, uh, wide open at 33, 34 knots, uh, with a range of uh, almost 300 miles. Imagine that uh, the, the S7 is uh, uh, one of the most efficient uh, products we have uh, in, uh, in our range and is definitely the most efficient uh, yacht at 70 feet in terms of fuel consumption. At cruising speed you are at 70 gallon an hour and this is thanks to basically three, three reasons. Number one, the, the, the choice of propulsion, so IPS 
uh, Volvo IPS is extremely efficient. Number two is the design of the hull. Uh, we invest uh, an incredible amount of effort and the knowledge which trigger down from our Benetti, uh, you know, of course, construction. So uh, we design hulls uh, which are extremely efficient and then weight containment uh, through very novel construction technique uh, through carbon fiber. You combine all together and uh, the, the new S7 uh, is 30% measure 30 percent more efficient therefore therefore which means less burning fuel less emission generating than this equivalent in a traditional shaft line so you take the same model or a model from a competitor which is proportion uh, to a shaft line and uh, is 30 percent less efficient or if you wish uh, uh, more polluting uh, than uh, the new s7 we discuss about the crew quarter uh, which are here on the starboard side. You have this door with an electrical lock. You push this button. You don't have to do anything until you uh, don't hear the mechanism stop as it did right now. So that is the locking mechanism, which makes sure this is a watertight door. You see now it came out a little. It makes sure that it tidied at the right tension to make it watertight. Once it's out, once it's done, you just move it with one end and put it on the side. And uh, here you go. I will go down first. So here we are in the crew quarters, which, uh, uh, you know, as we said, are on the starboard side. The axis is on the starboard side of the boat. We apologize. This boat arrived from Italy last week. So there is all these uh, new component boxes still here, which is also gives you, uh, give you an idea of the amount of volume that you have uh, in the cabin. Uh, so it's, it's very, I mean, a crew quarter for one, uh, very, uh, comfortable I would say because uh, you have everything you need for instance this is the uh, toilet uh, shower area uh, very uh, generous as well I don't have to uh, you know make any sacrifice in terms of movement this is my shower toilet you have a storage dry storage on the side so it's a completely separated uh, bathroom and shower and then uh, of course uh, you have uh, you know storage for your toiletry here uh, still beautifully finished uh, sink and faucet you have storage here so there's a lot of storage which again this is the area where, where, where working people stay so we also uh, managed to provide uh, the captain uh, with a desk so you lift this up and uh, this is why there is a, this nice big cushion here and in case you need to do some planning you want to work on his laptop you know you have a little area where you can work and uh, of course this is a small space so everything needs to be very clever but then you press the button right here you put it down your desk safely disappear same goes with the audio video you have uh, this bracket here you turn it and that's your bed and you, he can watch a movie at night when he's tired from the bed perfectly comfortable and then put it safe in place and this doesn't move um, when if we switch position you maybe go there and i go here so i can show uh, simply that the size this will be the bed and all these cabinets are storage by four and this is hanging locker so for polos and uh, that's the hanging bar and uh, he has a safe there and of course there is a storage under the mattress and uh, uh, under this uh, cushion is uh, your sea keeper uh, system which uh, is here and under behind this is your main electrical panel is uh, here so it's a very uh, uh, you know efficiently designed echo there is a there's a lot going on in the in this area and uh, is uh, we managed to make it uh, very comfortable and uh, uh, able to spend some time on board so this is another area which has been designed extremely efficiently because it does incorporate uh, a lot of uh, a lot of systems and a lot of features starting of course from the triple uh, volvo ips 1050 these are of course diesel engine 800 horsepower each which equal to 1050 horsepower of a traditional shaft line that's why Volvo called them IPS 1050 despite the engines are 800 horsepower and that creates uh, 
a lot of benefits, uh, which goes from fuel consumption, clearly, you can produce more equivalent power uh, with less uh, displacement engine, therefore you're burning less fuel and producing less emissions, but also they're smaller, they're smaller blocks than you would have three uh, 1,050 each engine here with a shaft line, traditional shaft line propulsion system. First of all, the garage would be impossible. Second of all, that bulkhead would be probably <coughs> a foot more forward. You need more room because the engine would be bigger. They will have to be on much more of an angle. You see how flat they are here? This is an advantage of IPS propulsion system. You see they're, they're really on a, on a flat plane. When you have a traditional shaft line, the engines are on an angle and uh, uh, in, in, in a standard configuration. In a V-drive configuration, the angle can actually be the other way and then you will have the bulkhead move forward. So there is only advantages of, uh, of IPS uh, system. But uh, uh, getting to the content, then this, we saw it at the beginning of the video, this is your garage. This is the backside of that winch that we discussed about uh, that uh, retrieve uh, the tender. And that one on the corner that you see right here popping out, this is the other winch which uh, pulled in the jet ski. So this is the, this big, nice module supported with these uh, strong stainless steel adjustable poles. This is the garage, which couldn't be possible without an IPS propulsion system. Then right behind you, on top, very accessible and easy to uh, uh, you know, deal with, air conditioning system. So this is uh, uh, your compressor, which uh, feed uh, uh, you know, cold water to all the air conditioning fine coils we have seen on board. This is, of course, your generator which you can remotely start, as we have seen from the boat helms, flybridge or uh, main helm, or you can start and monitor from here. You have two fuel tanks, one per side. They are approximately 1,900 liters each, which uh, equal to 500 gallons. So you have 1,000 gallons of fuel, which provide uh, a 300 shy, little shy of 300 miles range at cruising speed, so very, very efficient. We're talking about 26, 27 knots. You can do 300 miles of range. Um, what else? Uh, if you come on this side behind me, this is uh, uh, an interesting uh, system, which is your visual uh, gauge for fuel. So always remember, you want to push these two buttons before, like, you see, before thinking how much fuel you have, now you can see, uh, you want to make sure that you re-prime the line and that is an emergency system which tells you, uh, God forbid, that the, the senders have a problem, you know, uh, you want to know how much fuel you have. So this is your visual gauge. Fuel, again, your Raker filter, look, uh, they can be easier than this in terms of uh, selection, which one you want to use and uh, service and replace their elements inside. Okay, so this, uh, uh, you know, you have your pressure gauges or fuel pressure gauges here, and there is no better location to service your, your um, fuel filters. Strainers, engine strainers. These one are the port and the center. Very easy to open, close and uh, clean. And then on the other side, in between those two engines, you have uh, the starboard side one. And then coming on this side, just be careful, but it's extremely uh, comfortable to move. You have, uh, you know, a very large area. Once you get here, look, you have plenty of room. Again, service serviceability. Uh, these are your IPS transmission systems. So you see how, how, how uh, compact is the entire propulsion system. So this is your engine, this is your transmission. The pod is down here and goes that way. So that's what makes us be able to contain the engine room in terms of height and length and provide a 70 footer with the lower deck we look at, as well as a two toys garage in 70 feet, which uh, without this propulsion system would be absolutely impossible. The boat would be probably three cabin and no garage. Uh, in a shaft line configuration. So those are all your Volvo electronic system and that's your hydraulic unit uh, right there 
Uh, I could have moved that light and show you, but uh, that's the hydraulic pack right there, and this is your Volvo uh, steering system uh, brain. These are the Glen Denning Cable Master, the cables that we talked about before. These are the electric motor right here, which retrieve this cable, goes through these rollers, and uh, comes into this drum and coil on its own, and then comes out and uncoil on its own. So we saw that. Those are the uh, idle bypass of the engines. And uh, actually, I want to just maybe show you uh, a beautiful electrical panel uh, on the other side, which, uh, uh, let me see. If we go on the other side, I just want to give you an idea of the quality of execution of, uh, again, the backstage, the electrical system. So this is one of your main breaker panel and uh, you have your uh, safety locking system right here and uh, but inside you can see the quality of execution you see every single uh, cable of course is labeled we provide digital as well as paper um, uh, wiring uh, drawing and then when you when electrical when electrician need to troubleshoot issues they just locate Everything is nice, neat, clean, and uh, uh, designed and hold in place in tight, uh, watertight electrical cabinetry like this, which lock in place safely. Here you have uh, your breakers, and these are your battery chargers, you know, service and uh, uh, engine battery charger. Uh, the other Glendon in Cabo Master is there. You have your freshwater. Uh, wash down system here very handy to have in the engine room and uh, I will say that's it so I guess from the engine room thank you very much I hope you enjoyed if you have any question uh, please feel free to contact us and uh, we are very excited to introduce also to the Americas the, this phenomenal new model the Azimut Yachts S7 thank you